Katrina Radke with Swim Swam, and I have the pleasure of being here with Mallory. Wait a minute. Thank you. I'm excited. Well, obviously, we're here at the Hopkins Hurricane Swim Club, who is so wonderful to do this fundraiser for you to raise money. Can you share to everybody watching on Swim Swam what this is for? Uh, the Hopkins Hurricanes have been absolutely amazing. Um, they're a big part of the Minnesota Swim community, which I've been a part of since I was seven. Um, and I was really excited about the event. And what they're doing here is they did a silent auction and a bingo event. And um, everyone's kind of coming together to help me raise funds for my campaign against all odds, the journey to new mobility. And the whole background of that entire campaign is to help me raise funds for um, the ability to use customized leg braces and either a walker or arm crutches to help me uh, take my first steps again since my paralysis nearly six years ago. And how much money do you need to raise? And where uh, are order, you at? In order to do this, I, I need to raise $50,000. I'm currently at 18500 somewhere around there. So there are ways in which I'm still planning on moving forward regardless of whether we hit that goal or not. It's just now at this point, every little bit continues to make this process much more seamless and it's a big goal of mine to also be able to find a way to give back to others. Um, I think for me it's a big thing to know that when I do get to that point and that exciting day of being able to find a way to take my first steps again, um, that somebody else in their family are getting to experience the same thing as well. Where can people go to help donate? It's an Indiegogo campaign, so to help donate uh, you just go to Indiegogo.com and you can type in the name of the campaign, Against All Odds, The Journey to New Mobility, or you can type in my name, uh, Mallory Wegeman, and the campaign page will pull up. Well, great. We encourage all of you to go out there and support Mallory and her dream to be able to walk. Not, maybe you want to explain, too. You won't be walking again, but maybe you can share a little bit about what will actually happen once you get the crutches. Yeah. So this whole dream is obviously about walking, um, but there's this kind of fine line of although I still think of it as walking, it's kind of me redefining what walking is. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to regain any function from my point of paralysis down. I've been stable in my condition as a T10 for almost six years now, and uh, that currently is not gonna be able to change. However, I am very fortunate, thanks to swimming, to have a very strong upper body, and so there are ways to use customized bracing and the assistance of a walker arm crutches to use my core, um, the, the parts of it that I do have, to help me move my legs forward. And it will be a little bit more of kind of like a swing gait because my legs will be totally locked up and supported using these braces. But um, I think for me it's still considered walking, it's just maybe not the traditional term of walking. It's kind of my chance to redefine it a little bit, be able to be upright and moving towards something again. Well, you have been an inspiration to so many people. Obviously, you did fabulously in London, even with the rule changes. What um, piece of advice would you give to people who are watching? I think the biggest thing is just never give up. You know, there's so many people out there that are going to tell all of us all the things that we may never be able to do or never do again. And I learned those lessons very quick through my swimming and just through life in general. Just to keep pushing forward and never lose, lose faith or heart in chasing your dreams. Please go out and support Mallory.